It is my privilege to introduce our graduation speaker for today, Alex. I do remember him as a very small boy, almost nonverbal, at one of our tricky trays back at the old school um, where we used to actually put tickets in coffee cans and he just would run around the gymnasium. Um, very, I felt very, a lot of different emotions when Alexander left here and graduated. Um, knowing him as a preschooler, I saw what he was like when he had limited language. Again, no way of communicating. He used to just play with his dinosaurs all the time. That was his favorite thing to play with. And just to see him throughout the years first learn to speak, just to tell us what he wants, and then learn to speak to have conversations with us and tell us things that he did over the weekend, things he wanted to do in school, and then to hear that he was working and driving was really um, a good feeling to know that I took part in that. And I felt a lot of pride, and I also felt a lot of sadness at him going. When he first started, he was virtually nonverbal, um, and his speech was challenging to understand. So I think he became anxious about talking to other people and interacting. I wasn't sure he would ever be able to be as independent as you know, a typical adult. I wasn't sure he'd be able to drive himself and get to a job and work full time. And then when I went to the movie several weeks ago and he was actually the person to take my ticket, I felt that flood of emotion all over again, so. On weekend, when I ripped the ticket, it looked like it's close to a nine, 90, close to one down, 10,000. I was really sad to see him leaving um, and I really felt like though inspired because I think his story and where he had come from and where he was moving to was going to be something that the other parents and other students could look at as a goal for themselves and their families and their futures. So don't be like me, just be yourself. But be a little interesting, you think of me as all sort of role model. He's the first student we have here at TCI that spent his whole school career here with us. 